Hi everyone, the front and rear windshield washers on my 2004 Toyota Sienna van stopped working. So let's troubleshoot them and eventually replace the pumps. Let's go. Pop and lift the hood. First check that there is fluid in the reservoir, and there is. Not a lot, but it is above the low indicator line. Next check the washer fuse that is located under the dashboard on the driver's side. Remove the cover and look for the washer fuse located in the back row, fourth from the left end. To remove the small fuse, we'll go to the fuse box located under the hood and grab the fuse puller. Now pull the fuse, and in good lighting, see if the fusible element is still intact. You can also check the fuse with a meter if you have one. Set the meter to the continuity setting, Test the leads for continuity, and then check the fuse. The beep means that the fuse is good. Reinstall the fuse and cover. This now leads me to believe that the pumps are bad, so I'll order replacement pumps. I'll leave a link in the description below. Please check for compatibility with your vehicle. Turn the wheels all the way to the right to provide space to the fender well. Remove these two fasteners from the fender and these three fasteners from under the van. Pull back the lining to access the bottom of the washer reservoir and pumps. The pump on the left is for the front windshield and the right for the rear. With your thumb, press the tab and pull to disconnect the electrical connector. Reach over to the left side of the pump and disconnect the hose. Now twist and pull the pump out of the reservoir. Be prepared for the fluid to pour out. On the left is the old pump and on the right the new pump. They look identical except for the inlet screen on the old pump. I carefully pried off the screen and found that it was glued on. I also noticed this green slime in the center of the pump inlet. My guess is this is what is clogged inside the pump. Super glue gel was applied to the four thicker legs of the screen and the screen was placed on the new pump. While waiting for the super glue to set, flush out the reservoir with the pressure from a hose with nozzle. The flat side of the rubber grommet faces out and the beveled side goes inside the reservoir. Install the grommet. Again, the beveled side goes inside the reservoir. Verify the grommet is properly seated in the hole. Next, install the new pump with the port facing to the left or driver's side. Simply push or press the pump into the grommet. Now connect the hose and electrical connector. Fill the reservoir with some water or washer fluid and check for leaks at the pump in holes. And I'll test the washer. Success! The same steps will be followed to replace the rear pump. 